here we have the blue red fevered visions deck this is this list here it's the same one that finished second this past weekend at grand prix in santiago and it put up an amazing performance in that tournament and it's has not been a popular deck recently or even since Kaladesh has been released. Before that, this deck was pretty popular, a similar version to this with Fever Visions, with Aggressive Creatures, the Thermo Alchemist, Burn Spells, very similar. Um, a lot of players may be familiar with the style, but it kind of fell off the radar. And a lot of the, the reason was because of the Aggressive Vehicles decks, combo decks like Marvel, but now the format is shifting more towards mid-range, Black Green Delirium, Blue White Flash, and this deck is finding itself in a bit of a better position. It didn't lose that many cards um, with the standard rotation. Unfortunately, Jace is gone, uh, Jace Friends Prodigy, but picking up the slack here, we have Storm Chaser Mage, a very reasonable replacement. The mana base is solid. Spire Bluff Canal is a new land that slots right into the deck. We see here this list has an emphasis on red cards, um, not as many blue cards in the deck, so there are more mountains as compared to islands. The Wandering Fumarole, of course, the Man Land, and then the Gyre Reach Sanitarium, so there's the mana base for you. And then we've got a a lot of removal. Um, this is a creature based format and so the idea is just kill everything your opponent plays and then win with something like a Fevered Visions like a Chandra Torch of Defiance so that you're able to clear the board and then play a very powerful permanent that is able to take care of the game. So we've got Galvanic Bombardment and Lightning Axe as cheap removal spells. So especially if we're drawing multiple cards per turn with something like a Fevered Visions, we want to be able to dump our hand quickly and one mana removal is able to means that we're being more efficient with our mana than our opponent, which is really nice. So we've got some two mana removal here too in Incendiary Flow. So this is the card you want to deal with Scrap Heap Scrounger. It's going to exile that Scrounger or something like a prized amalgam. So the exile is nice, but a lot of the times you're just using this as a lava spike. You're just saying, all right, deal deal you three. Um, reasonable amount of times where on turn two, my opponent's at 20, and I'm just like, you know what? Going to the face with this incendiary flow because this deck, it just wants to... So deal 20 in whatever way it possibly can. Sometimes it's just starting early and aggressively with going to your opponent's face with burn spells. So, to unsubstantiate, a weird card. It's not card advantage. It's a versatile card. Um, sometimes it does get boarded out, but it's got its moments. And then we've got two tormenting voices as well. So, Tormenting Voice is nice with Fiery Temper. So is Lightning Axe. We've got a bunch of cards that are nice with Fiery Temper for that Madness Outlet. But otherwise, it's just a way to keep keep the gas going, keep spells in your hand. And you want to have spells constantly because of the Thermo Alchemist and then also Storm Chaser Mage. So these cards, you just want to be constantly be playing spells as quickly as possible with one of these in play. And these creatures can really be the difference maker. If you get one of these down and your opponent allows it to go unanswered, the Storm Chaser Mage can become very large, the Thermo Alchemist can ping for lots of damage, so either way you're happy. And at 3 mana, these are the some of the most powerful non-creature spells moving forward. So Fiery Temper, it's it costs 3 technically, but a lot, a lot of the time you're manacing it off of Lightning Axe, off of Tormenting Vo Voice, off of Gyre Reach Sanitarium, or off of the Collective Defiance when you decide to cycle your hand. So Fiery Temper, technically three, but it's another card like Incendiary Flow. It's just, it's a, it's a lightning bolt a lot of the time, 
and quite a good card in the deck. Very important to have one Madness Outlet. But these are the real game changers here. So we've got Fevered Visions. If this card comes down and you're on the play, it comes down on turn three, you're very, very favored because your opponent is not just not going to have the time to go down to less than four cards very quickly because they're also drawing a card every turn. Now, if you play it on the draw and your opponent has an aggressive start, then it may not be good enough. So it's really a play-draw card a lot of the time, but it's a high-impact card where it can deal your opponent 10 by itself and win the game, or it can deal your opponent 0 and kind of just not do that much. So it's it can be very good. Um, and I like playing four of them in the main in this particular metagame. And then Collective Defiance. This is a card that, well, Fire Temper was a card that cost three, but technically it's it's a little bit less because of the madness. You, a lot of the times it's one. Collective Defiance. It's often more than three because you're also wanting to you're wanting to escalate it. So being able to use this in order to kill a creature deal your opponent damage and then you can cycle your hand it's a versatile card and it's one of the key key components of the deck to, just to be able this deck wants to cycle through its hand to make sure there's always something it can cast and two Chandra Torture Defiance it's great on an empty board clearly you can use it as a removal spell and once you get to seven on this thing and you're able to ultimate it the game pretty much just ends you often have spells you can cast so this is the main deck after board we've got this plan uh, of we can go on this bedlam reveler plan if we want we want to boarding in the bedlam revelers we can potentially board in some counter magic and some additional removal so we can grind our opponents out that way and Bedlam Reveler as a creature that also draws three cards turns out can be pretty pretty effective so three copies of Bedlam Reveler even though you never want to draw two because you are you have to discard the first one you have to discard one to the first one anyways but um, as long as you have plenty of instants and sorceries in your deck after board I like the Revelers a lot there's one Jace as another Planeswalker threat similar to Chandra. Summary Dismissal comes in against Emrakul decks, but you don't want to load up on that effect. You're really just trying to be lean. So, 4 mana Counterspell is kind of a lot. Nihiri's Wrath, it's good against the go wide strategies. It's good against the aggressive decks, where you just want to stop their early aggression and get rid of multiple creatures or even Planeswalkers with one card is pretty nice. Negate is there's control decks in this format, so clearly against those decks you really want negate. But there's also smugglers, copters, fleet wheel cruisers, plenty of vehicles that you want to counter as well. Not to mention Gideon Al of Zendikar. Ceremonious rejection it's starting to see a little less play in sideboards as the Marvel deck has become less popular. But there's still definitely plenty of colorless spells you want to counter in the format. And then two lightning acts at, for some additional removal. Um, we really want, especially against cards like Archangel Avacyn, to have something that can just one for one with the Avacyn. When your opponent taps five, you can tap one and get rid of it. So that's pretty nice. And this is the deck list. And pretty excited to play some games with it.